Yo, what is up guys? We've got three new Link monsters coming out into the game and let's go ahead and check them out. So the first guy over here is um, a new card called Vector Scare Damon, Matt Damon. But anyways, it's probably going to be changing its name here in the TCG. But anyways, it's a rating of three and it's a Dark Cybers Link Effect monsters and its Link arrows are at the top center middle right and the bottom left so that means probably you want to summon it on what would be your left side of the pendulum zone anyways uh, the link materials are two plus cybers monsters and it's got 2400 attack and its first effect reads when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard you contribute one monster this card points to to special summon that destroyed monster to either player's zone that this card points to it. If you do summon that monster to your opponent's zone, this card can make a second attack during this battle phase. Oh, well, that's kind of mediocre. Well, I mean, I like that effect where you're able to destroy something and then you contribute just, you know, it just is one monster that it points to. It doesn't have, like, any requirements. It doesn't have your cybers. And then you could just special summon that to either player's zone. Now, if you special summon it to your opponent's zone, you can maybe get in some extra damage, but if obviously you're getting it in your zone, you don't get any other bonus effect. I guess that's kind of cool, but I don't know how viable this card will be um, because it has to be like linked perfectly. Obviously, if you move this card, that can be a lot better. That card's kind of cool. I really like that card's artwork. I don't know if people will be playing it, but I don't know. I mean, attacking over maybe something really strong and then just, you know, activating something like Forbidden Lands just to get over something and just be like, okay, I'm going to snatch steal your monster. That's actually pretty cool, but it has to be, it's it's like conditional. It has to destroy it by battle, and it has to hit the graveyard. So, I mean, a lot of times you guys know that people just like move cards around so fast. I don't know, I think it's cool, and you have to tribute a card. Like, it's conditional after conditional, and on top of that, it, it might not be the easiest card for any deck to throw. Because it does require Cybers monsters. However, there's a lot of cards in Cybers uh, that can just like bring this card out um, relatively quick. But I don't know if it's going to be one of those splashable cards is really one by, what I wanted to say right that. I don't know, let me know your guys' thoughts on Vector Scare Damon. Um, like I said, the name will probably be changed. But I think it's cool. I like that effect. Anyways, next up we have the Recovery Sorcerer. It's the light card over here. Uh, so it's a rating 2 light Cybers uh, link effect monster. And its link arrows are on the middle left, bottom center, and requires two cyber monsters. And it's got 1500 attack. It says you can only use the effect uh, with this card name once per turn. As a quick effect, you get to target a, a one link cyber uh, cyber's link monster in your graveyard that was destroyed this turn and special summon it, but it has its effects to get if any and is destroyed during the envy. So I guess that's just like a stepping stone card. Um, that, that's cool. Um, but it has to be destroyed this turn. Turn. I, f I wish it was like uh, it worked with the other card where if it was in the graveyard, you know, sent to the graveyard that turn, you could get this effect. I don't know. It feels like it's a little bit too slow in that aspect because um, you want to use it, I would say, as a stepping stone. Uh, but again, it has to be destroyed this turn. So, like, maybe on your opponent's turn, they attack over something, and then you're like, okay, I'm going to activate this effect and bring something else back. But then it still gets destroyed. Maybe they're going to, I don't know, maybe like, uh, what is it called? You remember, guys, remember how, like, we had cards where you can synchro during your opponent's turn with, like, Formless Synchron? Maybe there's cards where you get to immediately, you know, Link Summon. Um, I think that that could be a possibility that we will get in the future, but who knows. Uh, anyways, next up we have the Security uh, Gardena or Secure Gardena. It's a uh, rating of um, 1. It's a light cyber link effect monster, and its link arrow is the middle right. And it does require another cyber. Oh, dang, dude. They all require cybers, man. All right, so I guess there's all triple uh, cyber uh, link monsters. Anyways, 1,000 attack, and it says it cannot be used as link material. <laughs> okay. And it has three different effects. The first effect says you can only control one face-up Security Gardena. All right, and uh, the second effect says, after this card was special summoned, you take no effect damage for the rest of this turn. And then the third effect says, the first time you would take battle or effect damage each turn, you take no damage. Okay. And it says, uh, TL no OCG text doesn't specify face up in that spot. Perhaps this is a series 10 standardization change. We shall see. Okay. Well, there's a little bit of interesting things with that. Because if you guys didn't know, a uh, card like Soul Charge, you would take damage. That's... That can open the door for like a lot of crazy things, and it shouldn't be that difficult to get out. Um, obviously, it can't be used as link material. Oh, dude, I think that that's kind of cool because after it was special summon for the rest of the turn, it, it, is there? I think that this card, out of anything, guys, will open the doors up to some crazy FTKs, OTKs, where it's like you take damage and your opponent will also take damage because only it makes it so you take no effect damage. There's a lot of cards where it's like you take, uh, what is it like? 
and is it tremendous fire or something? There's a lot of like burn cards where it's like you take damage and your opponent takes damage. There could be a lot of crazy ideas with this. Out of all of them, I mean, they do all require Cybers monsters. However, with this one, it's just one Cybers Link monster. So maybe you could get it out pretty easy and you could do some kind of a cheesy win. Other than that, I just don't see these cards being too hot in the meta. Maybe potentially with uh, Vector Scare uh, over here. Uh, I think he's got like the coolest effect out of all of them. And again, it, unfortunately, we have to play Cyber Monsters. So I don't know. Uh, you guys can let me know your thoughts on any of these new three Link monsters that we just checked out. But that's it. Those, those are the only uh, monsters that we have for this video. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed checking them out. Let me know what you think of them. Do you guys have any cool combos with them? Also, let me know in the comment section below. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing some new cards. If you did, drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to always be updated on the new Yu-Gi-Oh cards.